Jonathan here with Noah and Aaron, and today we will be talking about the MLB trade deadline. First, I want to ask, do you think Carlos Gonzalez will or will not be traded? And if you do, to who and for what? Aaron, what do you think? I think Carlos Gonzalez, I actually, I don't think he will be traded because he's probably in the top two, probably even in the top two players in, on the Rockies. And I don't think the Rockies will give that up. They're not, I don't think they're a playoff team, but if they want to get there, they need to keep him in Arenado. Well, I think Carlos, Ga Carlos Gonzalez, he's a guy, the Rockies are trying to rebuild. He's a guy that either, either is going to be <clears throat> part of that rebuilding squad, or is either going to be a team that they're going to trade for more prospects. What do you think? Um, I personally think that he won't be traded. I think that it would be smart if the Rockies could trade him. But the problem with him is he's so good that they're going to ask for a lot. I don't think there will be teams that will be able to give what they want. All right, next let's talk about the New York Mets. Are the New York Mets buyers or sellers? I personally think the New York Mets are buyers if they want to make the playoffs. But right now, if they don't make a trade, I don't see it happening. They definitely do need a key piece to make the playoffs. Well, they obviously need to catch up with the Nationals. The Nationals have a six-game lead in the division, and the Nationals are a good team. We can both agree on that. And if they want to catch up with the Nationals, they need a big hitter, not a powerful hitter, because they hit a lot of home runs, but a hitter that can get on base. Uh, yes, I would have to agree. They should. They would have to be buyers if they want to make a playoff push, like you said. Um, the next topic will be about Andrew Miller. Do you think he will be traded? To who, for what, if so? I definitely think he will be traded, or if not him, one of those relievers on the Yankees, or possibly even two of them. I think they, the Yankees are not a team that are going to make the playoffs, and I think if they were very smart, they would realize that they need to get some prospects on their team. I think they'd be smart to trade him to either to one of those um, relievers, to either a team like the Nationals or Cubs for like a very good young player, like to the Cubs, maybe someone like Kyle Schwe Schwarber. Yes, well, uh, that's well, you know, actually been rumors that Kyle Schwarber for Andrew Miller could happen. Well, you don't usually talk about a team, especially the Yankees, you don't usually talk about the Yankees being a team that's willing to rebuild because they're usually always stacked. So when you take a time like this every 15 or so years, the Yankees have a time like this where they need a rebuild, such as when they got Derek Jeter. Andrew Miller may be traded for some prospects or Kyle Schwartz, like you said earlier. I think he will get traded. I think he will get traded to a team for maybe two or three prospects and him, or, him and another player, I don't know and for maybe two or three prospects. Um, let's talk about the Mets again. So, do you think anybody on that team will be traded? Well, I do see Zach Wheeler. I know the Mets need pitching. Obviously, they don't need pitching because they have a great pitching staff, but most of, their, most of their pitching is injured. I feel that Logan Brett, given the season he has had, is a pretty awful season, he possibly will get traded. And uh, Logan Brett, possibly, they're not going to get anybody that good for him, but I think they need to get him out of the roster. I would have to disagree with that. Logan Verrett is one of the best relievers on the Mets. Logan Brett is a reliever as a starter. Well, he was a reliever last year. He's a starter now because there's some people hurt. So he's, I guess, would be considered the sixth man. But he is a very good sixth man. I would have to disagree. Johnny, what do you think? I definitely agree with Aaron. I think that Logan Verrett is a very good replacement for the um, injured pitchers of the Mets. I think that it'd be pretty foolish of the um, Mets to trade him. But Logan Verrett leads the Mets in walks, in uh, most walks. Not as a hitter, and I'm just hitter as a pitcher. So I feel like they need a guy who can obviously slug, which we talked about earlier. And I think Logan Brett is possibly going to be out there and he's going to be one of the names, he may be on, put on the trading block, he's going to be one of the names that the Mets need to sort of, need to get, not off the roster, but or make him another reliever and get a pitcher who can replace him. And that's all, that's all the time we have. I'm Noah Bland, this is Johnny, this is Aaron, and we're back on WAFN Fan.